Welcome to an introduction to LearnDash. LearnDash is an LMS built on top of WordPress. LMS stands for Learning Management System. In other words, it's software that allows you to create online courses on top of WordPress. In this course, we're going to go through the basics of LearnDash. We're going to walk through all of the settings to make sure LearnDash is configured correctly. And then we're going to build out a simple course on how to start your own podcast. We're going to do that by creating lessons and topics within those lessons. We're going to create assignments for those topics. And then we're going to learn how to integrate things like WooCommerce, Stripe, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. Once you purchase LearnDash, you'll be given access to a zip file that you can upload to your WordPress dashboard. If you don't know how to do that, there are video instructions in the notes for this video. Once LearnDash is installed, you'll have a new section added to your WordPress dashboard called LearnDash LMS. And under it, you'll see several options for courses, lessons, topics, and more. First, let's go through the terminology of LearnDash. A course is going to be a series of lectures used to teach a particular subject. So you will be creating courses in LearnDash. Those courses are going to be made up of lessons and topics. These are best illustrated if we look at an outline for the course we're creating. So in this course, creating your own podcast, we're going to have two lessons and two topics. And looking at the outline, you can see that we've labeled what each outline element corresponds with. So the top level items in the outline are lessons. Our lessons are going to be defining your podcast and hardware and software. Each lesson is broken down into smaller sections or topics. So under the lesson defining your podcast, we've got picking your topic and format of the show. These are, again, smaller areas of each lesson that break each lesson down into consumable parts. After that, we have quizzes, certifications, and assignments. Quizzes can be added to the end of lessons or topics, and they are to make sure that your students are understanding the subject matter. You can make them count so that they need to get a certain score before moving on to the next lesson, or you can make them not count so that they're just a way to reaffirm what the student learned in the previous topic or lesson. Certificates are things that you can generate once a student completes a course, and assignments are essentially homework for the student. You can create an assignment and then allow them to upload it to WordPress. Groups and reports are things that we're not going to go through in this series, uh, but they are worth exploring. And for the rest of this video, we're going to look at the settings. So there are a few settings here in LearnDash. The first is general, uh, and we've got course auto-enroll and bypass course limits, and then include in reports. If at any point throughout the time that you're using LearnDash, uh, you need to understand what any of these settings do, you can click on the question mark and you'll see some text. So. Uh, admin users will automatically be enrolled in all courses. This is great if you are the admin for your WordPress site and you need to go ahead and test the courses you're creating. Bypass course limits means that admins will bypass restrictions like course progression, course and lesson prerequisites, course point limits, and lesson and topic timers. So what that means is that when you're creating a course, you can uh, put certain restrictions on the students who are taking the course. Course progression, for example, means that uh, a student has to complete uh, the course in chronological order, so they can't skip to lesson three without completing lessons one and two first. Course and lesson prerequisites mean that they are required to take other courses before enrolling in this one. Course point limits and lesson topic timers are other restrictions that you can put on users. Include in reports uh, means that admin users will be included in the course and quiz CSV reports that you can export under the reports area of LearnDash. If we go to PayPal settings, this is how we're going to set up our payment options. 
So you're going to put in the PayPal address that you want to use in order for people to pay for your courses. The rest of the information is filled in automatically and can be changed. Things like currency, country, uh, the URLs necessary. And if we want to use the PayPal sandbox, which we will. Uh, using the PayPal sa sandbox means that we can go ahead and test the payment mechanisms within LearnDash without actually having to transfer money anywhere. The custom labels area allows you to change the default labels from LearnDash. So for example, if you want to change courses to manuals, if you're creating user manuals and that's the uh, nomenclature that is used within your company or organization, you can do that here. When you first install LearnDash, you can perform these data upgrades which will give you better reporting. This is actually required, so make sure to go ahead and do that. And then the last two tabs uh, are for support and licensing. So you're going to put in your email and license key here. And if you need support, uh, this tab will be very helpful to the folks at LearnDash uh, who are supporting you. So that's it for this video. In it, we learned what LearnDash and LMSs are, we learned the terminology that is used within LearnDash for the LMS, and we walked through the settings. In the next lesson, we're going to start creating our course. We're going to talk about the concept a little bit more, and then we're going to start performing activities.